Lil J live from home. Hey, what is good? This is Quest. I'm Peter Di Pia. Boy Shepherd. Catch me here at home in Singapore. You know what it is. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to on? Music Matters Live from Home. How are you guys doing out there? My name is Pierre Bouvier, and yes, I am the lead singer of the band Simple Plan, and I'm right here with my buddy Chuck. What's up, Chuck? Hey, what's going on? I'm Chuck. I'm the drummer in the band Simple Plan as well. Hello, everybody, and hello, Pierre. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Um, you know, uh, where we are on the West Coast over here in uh, America, in Southern California, it is early. Just had my coffee, but it's no better time than now to have a good time and uh, play some tunes and enjoy ourselves. But welcome all of you guys out there who are watching, who are listening. Just a little sip of coffee over here. Music matters live oh, yeah, from home. We We're stoked to be here. Exactly. So why are we here? What's going on here? Um, well, we've all been living in the last, what, what is it like now? What, how many weeks are we, Chuck, in this uh, COVID-19 crisis? Three months. You should know this stuff. Almost three months, I think. Three, I would say. Three months we've all been living <laughs> with this COVID-19 crisis pandemic. Uh, and obviously, uh, us as musicians, as touring musicians, we've been hit hard. The music community has been hit hard by this because our lives revolve around seeing people, playing shows, collaborating with each other in places where at the moment we can't do that. Um, so it's, we've, it's so important for everyone to be able to keep, keep on being creative because we can't play shows right now. And uh, so Music Matters Live From Home is here to kind of continue that creativity and uh, sort of help out people that are in the music. So that's why we're here. And, yeah, and you know what? this part of the I'm show really keeps the creativity Go ahead, Chuck. I miss you. Oh. Uh, it's been too long. I haven't seen you in so long. You know. I know. We're it used sucks. to seeing so many people. It does suck. We've uh, we spend most of our days together. You know, either writing music together or, or touring together. Um, see, I find it's been a nice little break personally, but I'm ready to see you again. You know, it's been now. It's been long <laughs> enough. You know, it's uh, all right. It feels fair good. Enough, fair but, enough. But music matters. Live is all about staying connected and creative during this time of crisis and change while encouraging, encouraging artists to keep on going. Um, so this part of the show is where we keep the creativity and connectivity going. We're going to pass the mic. That's right. And as you said, we're here in California. It's really early, 7 a.m., just waking up. And uh, I don't think we can do this just by ourselves. And that's why we invited a bunch of our friends from uh, friends of of Music Matters, of course, but friend of ours as well, uh, from all over Southeast Asia and Australia to join us. So you can see them all on the screen right now. Hi, guys. How are you? Hello. Hey. What's up, everyone? Hey. I have to say that I, I, really good. I feel like you guys are all set up in like these nice, slick studios things, and I am <laughs> currently, <laughs> yes, this is, this is my laundry room. Yeah, if people are wondering why the hell is in, why is he in his laundry room? It's because my Wi-Fi internet thing is right there. I'm getting the best service here, so um, this is my laundry room where I spend most of my days folding clothes. How are you guys doing out there? This is what you do now. <laughs> exactly. This is actually our laundry too. Good? We've just got soundproofing around it. <laughs> yeah, I'm great. Doing great. How are you guys doing? We're good. We're good. I am We're doing good. Here. So, so this is episode one out of six uh, of this series. And each artist from here will go on to work together and do some big collaboration as well. So, you know, as Pierre said, we call it Pass the Mic. And today we'll be unveiling our own collaboration um, with all of you, which was incredible and amazing. Uh, so you will be seeing that soon if you're watching at home. And we can't wait to show it to you because this is it's rad. And uh, for all you guys watching also at home, there will be a QA and a uh, that's coming up really soon. So make sure you send us all your questions, all your comments. Uh, you can do that on YouTube, on Facebook Live, and we'll answer as many as we can. And uh, yeah, so don't hesitate. Just ask whatever you want. And I want to give a big shout out to YouTube, Facebook, and Singapore Tourism uh, for making all this possible. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and tell all your friends about it. Join us. Join us. It's going to be really fun. We're going to be hanging out here for uh, 
for you know for quite some time we'll be chatting and um and, and now and, and now guess, that we're all here together I'm sorry, go ahead Pierre. Well, it's, it's okay now that we're all here together i feel like you know the, there's some people on the screen here we got everybody let me see here everybody on screen we probably get to know everybody because obviously we don't know everybody out there as of just yet so um if you don't mind introducing yourselves we'll start with riley how you doing hi i'm good my name What's is up? riley i'm from singapore across the world. i love your little pet there is that all about the we met him last time yeah this, this is, is dorito oh, right this is the little girl yes this is dorito she's a sassy sassy little girl say hi dorito so cute all right <laughs> So you're in Singapore. That's awesome. Amazing. Well, nice to nice to see you, everybody out there. This is Riley, and next we got Teddy from Indonesia. What's up, my yes, friend? Sir. Indo in the house. Uh, doing great. Doing great. How are you guys? We're doing good. good, man. We're doing really good. Well, it's good to have you here. And next we got Lil J from Malaysia. What's up, Lil J? What's up, guys? Selamat sejahtera. That means uh, greetings in Malay. Hope you guys are doing fantastic, great. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you for having me. Bonjour, bonjour. It's a We're pleasure. French, so we'll, you know, yeah. we can do the French thing as well. Bonjour, comment ça va? <laughs> That's great. And then we got great. Quest from the Philippines. What's up, Quest? How you doing, my buddy? Hey, what's up? Everything is good. Everything is good. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys, did you guys wash your hands? Stay sanitized? <laughs> Uh, we're, we're doing I have. Good I have washed my hands. Good. I have washed my hands. We are good. I've got my hand sanitizer somewhere around here. I have to find it. And we also have Shepard from Australia. What's up, guys? How you doing? Good day. Good day, guys. We, we are, are Shepard. What's up? Oh, well, look at that. We did that in unison. <laughs> wow. You guys are pro. I, you, oh, yeah. you can tell yeah. you've rehearsed this. I love it. Very nice. You said it a million so, times. <laughs> It's amazing. So I'm kind of curious, obviously, you know, we've kind of talked about how we well, we all miss each other, but uh, how's your lockdown going? Are you guys keeping creative? We're so sick of each other right now. We don't miss each other. <laughs> well, oh. I'm not sure but if, if everyone knows, but we are siblings and so we live together. We fight for the front seat of the car, together. that type of thing. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I didn't know that until we started this collaboration, so that was really cool. So the three of you guys, um, siblings together and started a band together. It's uh, that's that's pretty awesome, and that's where the name Shepherd came from because it's your it's your last name, right? Your family name. That's right. Yeah, I should probably say I'm George. I'm Emma, and I'm Amy. Yeah, we are that is awesome. together. We are Shepherd. <laughs> nice. I wanted to start a band with my brothers, and uh, but the name Bouvier just didn't seem like a good band. <laughs> we are I really Bouvier. Like <laughs> so that's actually that's the the same ring the yeah exactly so has so everybody out I'm there um because i know i i've been uh oh sorry chuck go ahead there's a little delay there go ahead I, Chuck. how is it to tour together as a family is it because it's you know it's not easy to tour with anyone but how is it with your siblings is oh, it worse or right, better chuck. fantastic <laughs> it's exactly how you think it would be mate <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's in some okay. ways we, we I feel like for well. in some ways I feel like for us, Chuck, we've known each other for so long. We've actually met when we were about I was it like twelve years old, twelve, thirteen years yeah. old. Yeah. And we've been in a band together since we're about fourteen years old. So we're almost there wow. with you guys. I feel like Chuck, uh, we are you know we're family. We've been playing together for uh, let's see here. I don't want to I don't want to put my age out there, but. Um, if it's we started when we years. were 13, 28 years we've been playing, playing together. So it's a little crazy. Okay. That's, so I feel you, Shepard. Say than, that. Longer than we have. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, let's see how, so what do we got here? Um, so has everybody been keeping, because I know for, for me, when this whole thing started to happen, I had this idea where I was like, hey, man, I, I'm going to use this time to be creative and do all this stuff. But I've realized over the time, it's been a little bit challenging because to keep yourself updated, you know, because we don't know what's going to happen. You don't know, you don't know where this pandemic is going. So I'm curious as to you guys, has anybody out there been able to create some cool material? Um, you know, has anyone been able to time productively? And obviously we've done this song together, which was really cool. 
Um, but has anybody else out there been able to create some new material? We could start with Teddy up down here. Have you been able to stay uh, creative? Same here, man. I mean, I've been pretty stuck on the creative side of my my brand because in the first two months I can't write anything. I can't I can't do anything. So I just started now, in the in this last yeah. month. So yeah, nice. It's been challenging, but it's cool. Yeah, it is challenging. Yeah, I feel like there's it's a time when we have so much time, but it's hard to. To, to not get stuck on the news or do like, oh my, yeah. started getting like, you know, sort of worried about the world and because try I'm to get all actually about, creative. Yeah. Because I'm all about like outdoors. So, you know, when, when I'm stuck in the room, it's kind of like, you know. Totally. I feel you. Does any, so, so where I live, I live in, uh, in, a, in a pretty small town, so I've, I've, I've got a lot of space to move around. Does anybody out there live in like a downtown area where it's much more difficult to get out? Yeah, I do. Yeah, how's it been for you? <laughs> it's, it's been, uh, well, for me, I think I took this time um, with this pandemic going on, I think I took this time in the sitting down in the studio. There's like sleep, there's nights where I have not slept and uh, I'm just perfecting my skill and it gave me a lot of time to work my momentum and be a better artist. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. What about you, Quest? Oh, uh, I think for someone like me, creativity has, I need it to keep me sane. So um, I made a decision to just come up create something every day. It can be a verse. It can be a beat. It can be as long as I end the day creating something. It can be one line, mm -hmm. but as long as I create something. So eventually I made a, lot, a bunch of uh, tracks and I'll be releasing an EP hopefully by the end of this month. Awesome. Very awesome. cool. Yeah. What about you, Riley? Yeah, same like Quest. I'm actually going to be, well, working on releasing my EP next month i haven't said it but here i'm saying it <laughs> for the first time oh nice <laughs> nice yeah. Inside so exclusive this is gonna be my debut ep i'm really excited so i'm finishing it up at home thank god to a new place so i've got a studio at home Whew. otherwise i'm stuck and then i can't do any music right so anyway so i've been doing that but you know how it is right with motivation like some days you're like really motivated let's do let's do things let's learn something new let's I don't know, make something, make a pot or something. And then there are just other days where you just don't want to do anything at all. And I think that's okay. And I think people need to realize that it's okay not to do anything. Like, I mean, I personally feel really bad when I don't do anything and I'm not productive, but I've been learning how to be more still and be okay with resting. That's good. Yeah, I agree. I feel like right now it's, it's, uh, it's important to all give ourselves the, you know, sort of forgive ourselves for you know having some times when it's like hey i'm not doing a whole lot today i didn't really accomplish much but in these difficult times so I, I think that it might be a little overlooked how to keep your your sanity you know like it's so important it's such a difficult time for anyone for all of us out yeah. there but especially if you have any sort of uh, if you're sensitive to these kind of things you know you have to give yourself the the just give your cut yourself some slack and as long as you're you have to be staying kind sane and yourself. healthy Exactly, exactly. Agreed, truth. And Shepard, you, you guys have the, uh, obviously, nice set up there. You got the microphones. Have you guys been able to stay creative during this whole time? Yeah, I think we were kind of lucky in the sense that uh, we'd already committed to releasing a single every month. So we were kind of releasing our third album in this different way where we were going to do a song every single month. Um, for the year and then that's 12 nice. tracks we'll bundle it together as an album at the end Woo! of the year so we we committed to that uh, before this whole thing happened um, and it actually just kind of gave us a bit of breathing room to be able to knuckle down and really get creative and um, finish off a bunch of those tracks like uh, we, we had a couple of Very shows cool. that were cancelled and um, it just yeah it really gave us that freedom to kind of concentrate on it I think now you know the restrictions are starting to lift and so we've been able to film some video clips and do some photo shoots. It's been really weird though. We filmed, a, uh, sorry, did a photo shoot on Monday and the stylist was in Sydney, the photographer, the creative the director, director, yeah, was in Sydney. So we're all working together online. Interesting. And I yeah, heard you guys crazy. shot a video or actually did a concert at the airport. So we shot a video in an airport, so we know how 
crazy and difficult that is. So I, I want to know how was that to perform on an action? I, I think it was on the runway or something. So tell us about that. That's kind of insane. Yeah, uh, it was through a radio station. It was sort of just an off the cuff idea that they had. And surprisingly, they made it happen. So we got the opportunity to perform on the runway because obviously the airports are closed and uh, it was insane. They managed to get a helicopter to film some shots. We felt like proper rock stars. Whoa. Uh, I, felt, I felt like James Bond. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It was just so That's nice. It. We just felt so good to, to be able to perform. Um, and obviously there was a live audience on the other side of the camera. And yeah, it just felt great. Yeah, it's probably our, our only gig for Very. the year. So it was, a, it was a good one. Very cool. Yeah, it's nice to see all these different little things how people are staying creative and doing things. I, I've been trying to do some Instagram live stuff. Uh, you know, we, we were actually, we're releasing a bunch of things that we've had for a long time, sort of in the vault. We just released one of our uh, concerts that we did with a uh, Montreal, what it's a, uh, Chuck help me out with this. What's the name of the orchestra? The Montreal Symphony Orchestra. Montreal Thank Symphony. Um, so we just, yeah, we, we just released that. And uh, so it's fun to come up with some creative stuff, but I'd like to, sort of show the world a little bit more about every single one of you guys and what you guys have done. We've got some videos. Um, so let's see a bit of your creative outlets and let's see what you guys uh, have come up with in, in, uh, in your art and what you do. So we'll start with Riley. Let's check out your Ooh, video. Wee. Let's take a look. So how would you describe your style, Riley? What's, uh, if people don't know you out there, what's your, how would you describe what you do? Ooh, I, ooh, basically pop. <laughs> pop up, oh, yep, that's like, what are, the what are, dancing. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Go Riley. This is from my go latest Riley. music video. Go Riley. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell So what are some of your influences? <laughs> and this video was shot not that long ago, right? No, um, so this is a different video. This one is Halton Bai, and it's a bunch of girls different colors, different sizes. I love it. Looks Woo! good. We got Lil J love it, there. Love it, love it. So, ow, ow, how ow. about you, Lil J? How's the scene in KL? Uh, it, it's growing up fast. It's growing up quick right now in Malaysia. The hip hop scene here is actually booming with a uh, with a bunch of cypher shows and stuff like that. It's crazy. It's crazy. So I hear that you rap. Nice. You know what I was? I was wondering. Languages. Yeah, That's I crazy. rap in um, Malay that? and uh, Tamil and uh, English. So English, my mom usually speaks to me in English, and she scolds me in Tamil because she's Indian. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, in uh, Malay, I just grew up in Malay, guys. So yeah, it is what nice. it is. Nice. And then we got Teddy over here. How do you describe your style, my friend? Like I said before, I'm all about outdoors. Look at the video. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I even record my album in the in the in the forest. Um, beautiful. No album. way. Yeah. Yeah. I just bring all that's my stuff. Really home. cool. All my equipment. Wow, that's sick, man. Hi, right, Quest from the Philippines. Hey. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Hey. It's beautiful. It's Oh, I it's shot that in Singapore. Shout out, Haji yeah, Lane. Mr. Haji Lane. <laughs> so, um, it's, it's very, very cool. Nick genre fluid. I can, I can do rap. I can sing. I just don't want to be boxed. But my foundation is hip hop. My foundation is Stade Quali, Common. Uh, yeah, Stade yeah. Quali, <laughs> nice. Yeah, Moss Def. So these guys are my <laughs> fantastic. And we got Shepherd. From Australia, you guys had some massive oh, yeah. hits, massive, massive. I remember when we were—I oh, I can't remember when it was—but when Geronimo came out, we we're like, "Damn, that sounds so fresh!" <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, I, love it. I guess I guess we just like make an anthemic, like euphoric pop music, sort of in the vein of um, Coldplay or One Republic. I guess would be our uh, brother bands. Is your and is your newer stuff kind of in that same vein, or you guys? changing it up or is that kind of the, like your vibe yeah we've definitely gone a, in a different sonic direction for the third album but it's still it still sounds big and anthemic and um uh yeah i feel like it's i feel a it's a little bit more experimental 
Nice. Fantastic. Well, also, if anybody out there doesn't know who we are, we are Simple Plan. I'm the singer. Hey. 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 Wow. You know, Beautiful. Nice only semi-famous from Canada. <laughs> yeah, and I what? guess like if you were to describe to describe what, what we would do, what would you call it, Pierre? It's been 20 years and we still haven't figured it out. You know, higher energy. It's always so, yeah, it's always, I, I think for all of us, I think for, yeah, for everybody out there included, like all of you guys included, it's always so difficult to sort of like see people are like, so what's your music like, you know, and it's like, I feel like for the easiest way that I always go to, because people, I know that they will know what these bands sound like. I'm like, well, if you like Green Day and you like Blink-182, it's kind of sounds a little bit like that. And, uh, but I, I think that w one thing that's always been so important for, not important, but I think part of the way that we write music um, is I love catchy songs. I love big choruses. I love, you know, there, there's I feel some music out there that you could sort of put in the background as you're having dinner with your friends and having drinks we're not, not usually us. that kind of music <laughs> we're the ones that kind of like you listen to it and it sucks you in and hopefully when you walk away you're like damn i can't get that song out of my head yeah and i don't know why i mean i you know like my, my dad when i was younger um and living at home my dad loved the beatles and uh i really got into i actually got into acdc early on which has these huge songs from Australia, and I wow. really love Tom Petty, like Tom Petty, the simple songs, you know, the one, the, 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 those big kind of anthemic songs. So I think that our our style is kind of pop punk, Green Day, Blink-182 is the big anchors, and then just big old choruses that you can never forget. So for anybody out there curious about what we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and all right, I, Chuck, and, where are we at here? Know, well, there's one thing that I want to say, because we're obviously talking to a lot of people from Southeast Asia and Australia, and, and we've had the privilege and uh, to perform a lot in the region. We started playing since, I think the first time we ever kicked to Southeast Asia was 2002. We played in Bangkok, Thailand. That's the first show we ever did in the region. And from there, we went on and we played everywhere. We played in, in, in the Philippines, we played in Singapore, we played in Indo, uh, we played, you know, it's in Malaysia, and I think it's been one of the one of our favorite places to play in the whole world. The fans have been so welcoming, so incredible. Uh, the shows have been massive. We got we even play in the Philippines. We play at what's the big arena there? Um, Araneta or Asia? something? I, I, we, or Arena, yeah, Arena, I mean, we, Arena. Yeah, man. Like that was. I think we did that two or three times. It, it was an absolute dream come true to you know, travel so far from where we're from and to see that the music had hit people and that, it, you know, made meant so much for so, for so many people uh, over there. And Australia as well. I mean, we started going there. The first time we ever played there, I think was also 2002. It was a festival called yeah, M1 very, very festival. early. We were the first band on. You I guys had was, some huge radio like, hits here. Yeah. yeah, but that was way before. Yeah, that, like, no one knew us, like zero. And, uh, and I think it was, uh, who was on there, like Nickelback. And so it was weird. Like we didn't really fit, but it was the first time we ever ended, but, but since then we've been coming back. Now, then we go with, with Goo Goo, the... It was Goo Goo Dolls or something like that. Or was it, I know that uh, from <laughs> yeah, Canada, the Tea there, Party right. was there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then uh, we met it those was... guys, the, uh, the Canadian band, we ended up. Lifehouse. Uh, yes. Those are not the Canadian band I'm talking about, but yes, those, they were there too. Um, but yeah, so for us, we've, we started touring a lot very early in our careers and it really, I think it helped develop us as people and it created this fan base that now we have around the world. Um, we were just in Australia uh, back in December and we all obviously planning again to go back to Southeast Asia. Uh, and it's funny because back then we would go to these places and it was cool because not a lot of people were touring those areas on the level that we were. And we'd be out there with, I remember it was Lincoln Park would tour a lot in that area. It was us and the Pussycat Dolls for some reason. And Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> and Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, Black Eyed Peas. Those were the three bands like that would actually make the effort to go. Because yeah. like back then people would not play in KL and they wouldn't play in, 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 in like Jakarta and all these places. It was, you know, and... Uh, for us, it was a matter of, I, I think maybe because we were from Canada, but it was really important to go see the world and to go play our music everywhere and to make the effort. And I think in a way, uh, not only did, did, did we make tons of fans, but I think personally, it made us better people. 
and smarter people to have been able to meet so many you know awesome people from all these places all the fans all all the all the bands the local bands and um it's been an incredible experience and we're so blessed and that's why i think it was so important to do this because uh we just love the region and we just love the people and we love the people at 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 music matters they've been incredible to us so yeah i just felt like the you know and we're so glad to have all of you guys here today with us thank you thanks That's for having very us. awesome yeah. thanks for having us thank too you. sir it's a pleasure a no. pleasure um yeah so a huge part of our of our careers has been going to these places and you know i think what's i was thinking what's kind of could be seen maybe as a positive because we're trying to find the silver lining in all this craziness with COVID 19 around the world is like we might be able to put a bit of a spotlight on more local artists in every part of the world because people will be traveling a little bit less and the larger shows will be obviously harder to you know get going um so i think it's a cool little opportunity for people to focus on their local artists and see smaller shows club shows uh and those types of things and hopefully be able to create some new careers like that. So it's pretty cool. You got you to find the silver lining in all these things, right? Yeah, yeah, true. That's awesome. You guys are great. So why Thank we're here, having, of course, Music From Home, creativity, connectivity. Uh, it's all about collaboration. And that's why we're all here, because we collaborated all together. Um, we decided to work on our song called Summer Paradise. And you guys were all part of it. And that was very, very cool. It was, it was such a, uh, it was an interesting and I think, very it's a very awesome collaboration for me because we, we started it off it was the idea um let's do this song and summer paradise feels like the one that's a song that that is is very universal that if it's a feel-good song and is in these times i think we need feel-good music we need something to uplift uh the spirits out yeah. there so we chose that one and uh so so sebastian was the guy our guitar player who's not here right now he started it up he recorded the guitar and, and passed it on to me and then i put my vocals on it and we kind of everybody Jeff did that did his parts. David recorded his vocals. Chuck did the little slappy on the knees things, and then we kind of just impressive. sent it out. Yeah, and then we just sent it out, and it was very very cool. And I was I didn't know what to expect, and I felt like okay, this could either be, either be really awesome or not so awesome. And it was so cool <laughs> to see everybody add their flavor to it. Um, you know, to a song that we recorded almost ten years ago. Um, and just to see it come back to life in a different shape and form and have everybody put their style onto it. And I just want to say you guys all sound awesome on it. I was blown away by the quality of, of singers and a vibe and just to bring something new to the song. And I think it's, uh, it sounds really great. So thank you all for being part of it. Thank you. Team Thanks. Hard to top yeah, I thought Chuck's it was knee so, slaps there. It was so... <laughs> Yeah, sorry. I just thought it was so cool that you guys took some, like, you know, just had felt like you had the freedom to try different things and, and kind of, you know, even come up with new parts that we would never heard. And to be able to, like, the first time we got the whole thing and we got to kind of sit down and, and take it all in, it was, it's so cool. Like, this song is, it was, from day one, was all about collaborating. We got Kanan did the first version with us, and then Sean Paul jumped in and did, like, a whole new version that's probably the version that most people heard around the world. Uh, so every time you get a new artist that comes in and inject his own vibe and his own flavor and the song becomes something new, it just keeps growing and just keeps on getting more interesting. Uh, so to be able to do that all these years later and to look back on a song that right now, like Pierre was saying, feels very of the moment, like we can't travel. And this song is about kind of trying to remember how great a trip was and how much you miss traveling and how you want to go back. So I feel that really kind of, it hits home at this moment for me because I, one of the, the, the coolest thing for me being in a band is, is traveling and touring and going to all these countries. So to hear the song and then to hear you guys kind of put in your, your own spin on it has been, uh, as, a, as a songwriter of the, uh, you know, on, in the band with Pierre, it's really special. To the, that the song gets a, like a second life or a third life like that. So I'm excited, and you know, and I would I love to think that I, I'd love to hear. We should play it. So I, I'd love to hear what what. Uh, well, I'd love to hear what you guys first of all, because we're, we're we're the ones that are talking so much. But I'd love to hear from you guys, um, and I'd love to hear. So 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 the song "Summer Paradise." First of all, I'm going to go through all you guys one by one. But had, did you did you know the song before you before it was sent to you? 
How did you feel about it? And how was your experience recording? Uh, we'll start. Quest, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, there, there, there. I got a little glitch. Well, you know what? Oh, growing. I heard that song uh, when the Sean Paul remix came out. Yeah. I mean, in the in the Philippines, you know, you guys are big. Uh a lot of us, a lot of us grew up with Simple Plan, and I'm just gonna give, I'm gonna just make a segue later. But listening to this is just, and knowing that I am given the opportunity to be part of it, it's it's surreal for someone like me in the Philippines. So I really want to give, you know, you guys uh, props for allowing us to play with this, and it's it's a fun song. It's it's a feel good vibes, summer vibes. Philippines, it, you know, we're known for summer, so. It's perfect for me. I'm 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 so happy that I'm able to do my part in this project. Awesome. And Riley, what about you? I mean, let's be honest. I don't think I know anybody that doesn't know who Simple Plan is because if they don't know who Simple Plan is, it's probably not my plan. And, <laughs> and it was it's honestly still really quite crazy because when I was when I was recording the song, I was like, and it had your raw vocals on it. I was like. This is so strange, but so cool. <laughs> so when awesome. I was recording my parts, I kind of recorded it um, like like harmonies with your lead vocals, but I guess it still kind of works Absolutely. without. <laughs> but yeah, it was cool. Very cool, very cool. What about Little Jay? You you brought a, a new a new rap. How was that for you? And and how did you had you heard the song before? And how did it make you feel to do that? Yeah, I mean, uh, when I was growing up as a kid. Uh, you know, I used to hear that song every day on, on Malaysian radio and uh, yeah, it, it was already stuck in my head at that time and um, getting an opportunity to like, write no, a verse for it. stop, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. Thank you so much for this opportunity. It's amazing. It's a, it's a pleasure. Teddy. Yeah, you guys are a radio hit in Indonesia. I mean... I knew that song when I was in high school, I guess. I think, yeah, it's because some some of my friends um, playing that song in the event of of my school. So. Oh, nice. It's, yeah, yeah. It's 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 like it's like um, it's weird, but it's cool. Like like having this opportunity <laughs> right now. <laughs> So oh. awesome, awesome, and Shepard, because I know the interesting thing about about Australia is that "Summer Paradise," which is one of our biggest songs in the last ten years or so, um, started becoming a hit in Australia before First. anywhere else. Yeah. It yeah, started getting picked up there, and it was actually a version without Sean Paul. It was the original version featuring Canine, and that uh, we made a video that we recorded in Australia for that, and it sort of started picking up there. And from there is where our label was like, oh, maybe we should push this song on the rest of the world. And then uh, it ended up being a hit with Sean Paul for reasons that we can talk about at another time. You guys made um, a great call. Yeah. 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 No, I, 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 uh, I actually knew the song. I didn't know it was you guys. And then it, I got sent the song <laughs> again. And I was like, oh, I know this song. Okay. Because it takes us back to, we grew up in Papua New Guinea. And so it really took us back to kind of growing up in the sort of paradise, the beaches there. And um yeah, I'm, I mean, nice. I'm keen to see this video. Let's 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 roll the very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. we should we should uh, go check it out, huh? Yeah, let's roll the video. Can't wait to see your sunshine eyes. I'm missing you, my summer paradise. Hey. My heart is sinking as I'm lifting up above the clouds away from you. And I can't believe I'm leaving. Oh, I don't know, no, no, what I'm gonna do. But someday I will find my way back to where you're name is written in the sand Cause I remember any sunset And I remember every word you said But we were never gonna say goodbye Sing la da 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 Tell me how to get back to Back to summer paradise with you And I'll be there 
her in a heartbeat Right away, right away Oh, oh. And I'll, I'll be there, there in a heartbeat On my way, on my way oh. Oh. My soul is broken Streets are frozen I can't stop these feelings melting through And I'd give away a thousand days Oh, just to have another one with you What a real life can wait I'm crashing like waves We're playing in the sand And I'm holding your hand Cause I remember every sunset And I remember every word We were never gonna say goodbye Singing la da 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 Tell me how to get back to Back to summer paradise with you And I'll be there in a heartbeat Right away, right away Oh, oh. And I'll be there in a heartbeat On my way, on my way Oh, oh. You're my sunshine, you're my cool breeze You're my chill vibes under We know nothing lasts forever So let's cherish every moment as long as we're together It don't matter the weather, girl, you're always shining I don't want nothing else when I see you smiling That's my favorite My favorite time, my favorite place, my favorite space Oh yeah, I just can't wait to see your beautiful face I miss you Day, I will find my way back to where your name is written in the sand Amazing. I think it really it really came together so cool. And I was uh pleasantly surprised. You know, you never know how these things are gonna happen. We sent out the song once our parts were done, and I was kind of like, let this be good. And it I I was, you know, blown away by the talent, um, the voices and all just the vibe it added. I think it's uh it's a really cool new version of the song. So thank you all. Congratulations, you guys are all amazing. Good yes. job, guys. Glad we did it justice. Teamwork. Thank you so much for this opportunity because this is, I mean, it's really quite crazy. It's super, you know, especially in this time where, well, we can't really see people face to face, but still, you know, you're still connecting all of us together from across the region. So that's really, really awesome. And just shedding a little bit of time has made it really, really awesome. When this so whole thing is over, so we all so got to get together, huh? Oh yeah, we have to. Yeah, that'd be so awesome. Hang out yeah. 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> That's actually been my favorite part of this whole thing is is like discovering you guys as artists and just kind of getting yeah. to connect with new people that I didn't even know existed before this. So this is really cool. And you guys are all awesome. Really cool. You guys are thank beautiful. You. That is a silver talent. lining. It's crazy. Uh, thank you, thank you, Quite, thank that, you. That's gonna be Likewise. in my head now that right away, right away. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, I love that. I love the little, you know, I love the little pieces, you know, obviously. So cool, so cool. All right, so let's go to some questions because some people are watching right now and the questions are pouring in like crazy. Um, so would love to take a few questions out there. Uh, let me start over here with Georgia Butre, who asks, when are you guys next performing in Singapore? Um, I'm going to go ahead and guess that uh, that question may be aimed to maybe Simple Plan or all of us, so we can probably all answer. Um, for us, 
obviously with this whole thing going on, it's uh, it's hard to, to say when we're going to be performing back, traveling the world. But I have to say, as soon as possible, we will be. Um, we love touring, and it's something that breaks our heart right now that we can't do. Um, so, uh, so definitely as soon as we can. I think all of us out there, we're kind of jonesing to get out there and play some shows. So as soon as uh, as we can, and we got we have uh, some new material coming out as well. I don't know when and how. It's been very confusing as to what we're going to do with that, but uh, our new material is is come together and it's so good. And I'm excited about sharing it with the world. So as soon as we can, Chuck, go ahead with the next question. Okay, next. Well, do you want the other guys to say when they're going to perform in Singapore? Because I'm curious. Like, are you able to play oh, right now? That's a good. Yeah, that's a good there? point actually. Are, That's like, a good point. Are shows allowed in Singapore right now, the smaller shows, or is it completely shut down? Because I know you guys are a bit ahead of North America and in, 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 in sort of where you're at with this whole thing. So I'm I curious. As a Singaporean, I have to represent and reply. <laughs> <laughs> the answer. Yes. Uh, um, I, oh my God, this is so much pressure not to say the wrong thing, but I believe um, there will be a time where people will get to perform and entertainment spaces will open, but there's a, a cap of up to a hundred people. So there's that. Right. Oh, that's pretty good. Gotcha. That's good. It's just well, a regular a shepherd gig. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> it's... That's funny. A... How's Australia? Are, are, are you guys able to perform right now? Or is it just like, is it, is it in the sense? I mean, basically, is there any, cause I know in the, in the U.S., literally, or the, in Canada, there's, I think it's the maximum. There was one performance that happened, but it was like, I think there was 25 people and they had to be spaced out. It was really on a very, very small scale. So I'm curious, is Australia a bit different or the rest of, you know, like the rest of Asia? Or I'm, I'm assuming we're all in the same boat, right? Because we just had to cancel. We had this gigantic U.S. tour that was started with Newfound Glory, like a co-headline, and everything is postponed till next year, pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty similar here. I mean, we've got, uh, I mean, I feel like we're one of the luckier countries in the sense that the lockdown has kind of ended and, and we've, we've gotten through the worst of it. But they're still being very careful when, you know, cut off from other states. So we can't leave Queensland. Uh, no one oh, okay. can come into Queensland. But the, yeah, the gyms have just opened, which is... Exciting. Yeah, they're just like slowly letting more and more people. So we just got... Uh, yesterday, I think it was 20 more people in a restaurant, but there hasn't been t any talks okay. about gigs. No live music yet. Actually, it's funny because the yeah, when we played the airport, that. the state line goes right through the middle of the tarmac, and we weren't allowed to play on the other side of that line. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. So weird. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's the one thing that I, whenever I speak to friends or people, I, I, I do think that unfortunately for us, the music entertainment industry is one of the harder hits because you know the whole concept of a show is getting you know 500 a thousand two thousand people sweaty together in a hot room it feels like not the best place to 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 you know for for this whole virus thing so hopefully when we can get a, a handle on this whole thing we can get back to it but let's go back to some more questions here um uh, the next question someone uh laham is writing to Teddy, is that a sock on your mic? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. I don't have I, I, my question for you, Teddy. Is it a clean sock? <laughs> I can't remember. But <laughs> I guess it's clean. <laughs> but yeah, because I don't have any crowd filter, so I just put sock on the mic. High tech. Really it works. Cool. He's an outdoorsman. A question for Riley. A question for Riley. Does Dorito sing? Your little bird Dorito. Ah, ooh. I mean, you know what's funny? Because we got a cockatiel. That's what she is. Um, because they can sing, and there's like tons of videos on YouTube where they're like singing and they're they're dancing, and it's so cute. And then we got her, and she doesn't do none of that. <laughs> she kind of squats a little bit. Um, but she doesn't like sing, sing. I guess she does sing, but not very well, but she's cute. <laughs> Needs to work on her chorus. Nice. She's a little bit. That's spoiled, probably good because if you sing too much and you're trying to, you're trying to record vocals in your, in your house and it's like, 
<laughs> oh, it would be... you know what's funny? Like in the recording that I sent, if you listen to it like raw, you can hear her. Like, because at one point when I was recording vocals, she went like rah, 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 outside, and it's in the track. <laughs> And you're nice. like, this take is too good to redo. I have to keep it. Doritos. <laughs> yeah. Summer Paradise Dorito featuring Dorito. Dorito. Yeah. yeah. Dorito, All right, next question. What you got? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot so to say that that question was from Singapore Swoosh. What's up, Singapore Swoosh? Go ahead, Swoosh. And then we got, we have one from Geo Joy who's asking all of us, what's your favorite thing to do in quarantine? Um, so uh, mm. who wants to take that? Work I, out. I can't mention this on, I, I don't think I can mention this on TV. I'm sorry. Jasper's mom is watching. I like, I like eating. I like, like there's, I, I just been, I'm just walking around the house and I'm like, ooh, a donut. I'll have a donut. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm actually, We've been, oh, wow. I'm, cook, I'm cooking a little bit more. So I have, a, I have a family. I've got my wife and two kids, and I've been cooking more, um, doing some grilled fish, doing uh, some shepherd's pie. Not even kidding. Not a joke. Yeah. Um, That's that specialty. Great. Yeah. We've been, we've been baking as well. Amy, if you follow, follow Amy on Instagram, you'd see she's been – Baking some banana bread that is rock hard. I'm baking some charcoal. Oh, <laughs> I, didn't know my dad. I, brought an air, I brought an air fryer. Sounds I was so good. excited about this air fryer, and it was another fail. I tried to cook a roast in it, and it was just it was all oh, beautiful. Oh come on, don't be so hard on yourself. And then I cut it in the middle. It's completely raw. Just stay out of the kitchen. Just, I'm done. I'm yeah, retired. Emma's oh. the chef in this house. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very, very. Hey, we're siblings. We can we can say this to each other. Yes. Yeah, that's true. That's but, true. Hey, at least you're trying. You know, that's uh, you got to give some props for that. Trying is it's half. I the feel bad. like everyone everyone's starting to make. Uh, everyone's doing the sourdough bread thing right now. I don't I don't really get it. But <laughs> everyone's doing sourdough. Mm. Yeah, not me. Yeah, I'm just sticking to noodles, bro. Instant nice. noodles for life. <laughs> <laughs> Safe choice. All right, so yummy, yummy underscore fun is saying, Pierre, have you done the laundry yet? Um, there you, you know, go. It's, a, it's, there's still some left over. I have to say, I was trying to hide it, but now that you ask, I have to show that we have a laundry bin over here that needs to be addressed. But, uh, <laughs> I actually, I, I'm more the dishes guy. My, my wife does the laundry. I do the dishes and the cleaning. I do like the, I wash the furs and she does more of the laundry. So. She's got to catch Look at up. those washing machines, man. That's like uh, Elon Musk designed those. That's like the future, <laughs> the future of, of laundry. Is that a time I've, machine? I've never said this before, but I've got washing machine envy. <laughs> yeah. All right, next question from Amy Ivers Iverson. What are your guys' biggest inspirations for creating content? Hmm. Ooh. Anybody want to answer that one? Still trying to impress my girlfriend. That's it. <laughs> That's actually a good point. You know, I find that for me and for the band, I feel like I'm always trying to kind of outdo myself. You know, I feel like when I, when, when we write songs, I'm going to put it together and um, I'm heavily involved in like the, the production side of it and like doing the demos. I'm just trying to be like, to blow myself away. You know what I mean? And it's like, to be like, if I think that I think this is really good, then hopefully other people will enjoy it. And, uh, and obviously, I love when you hear something new on the radio or from a friend or on a playlist or whatever, um, and just feel like, damn, that was so inspiring and it makes you want to write something. Um, so those are the things for me. I think, yeah, that's and, and I think for me also is to, I mean, to add to what Pierre is saying is like, we have, you have all these fans around the world that are waiting for the record and you know, not to be negative in the sense of like, we're, not, we're just not trying to let them down and make sure that they get something yeah. that they're going to be like, oh man, this is the best record they've made or this is what I needed yeah. right now in my life. This is like, you know, this is the song that I was waiting for that I, I didn't know I needed, but I did, you know? So I think that's, to me, that's the, that's the goal. And I don't know if we, every, every song we aim for it and we don't, you know, you don't always nail it, but you try. And I think if you come in with that mindset, you're going to have a great record because you're always, that's, that's the goal, you know? And um, I mean, I, I feel it has worked well for us when we, 
try to impress ourselves and impress our fans. That's sort of the, the combo, you know? You're somebody's Absolutely. favorite band. I always, I heard Kings of Leon say this when they're in the studio. It's like, no, guys, we got to focus on this because we're someone's favorite band out there. We can't let that person down. Yeah. Yeah. Do That's that very true. Wow. That is true. You have to live Good your day. creative life thinking that way. True. Absolutely. Yep. Well, I think, are we, do we have to wrap this up? What are we doing here? Let me look at this here. I think what's we got to talk like? about, you know, what's coming up next, dude, because like, this is just the first yeah. of one uh, of six. This is the first of six uh, episodes. So there's uh, there's some people that are going to be uh, doing this after us. We started the whole thing with you guys, but then uh, this keeps going. Uh, this is not over. So, um, you know, it's all about being connected and being creative during this time of change and being able to encourage the artists to keep going. So this is the part of the show where we keep the creativity going and we keep connecting and we're going to. You know, we're going to symbolically pass the mic because I think Quest, you're up next, right? Uh, this yeah. is your you're week. Doing next oh. week. Come up, we... Big yeah. fella. Yeah, you're so I'm very what fortunate. What can you tell us? Like, Well, first things first, I think we really need to give a big shout out to YouTube and the Singapore Tourism for making all this possible. Uh, I am just blessed to be part of this um, movement. I consider this a movement. With everything that's been happening right now, what we're doing is kind of like a movement. We're taking people on an adventure. Everyone's stuck at home, and here we are making music, and we're taking them on a journey. So I'm just happy to be part of this. And for the next episode, I am so honored to be doing this with Inch from Singapore. She's one of our – one of your – yeah, I know. She's she's an amazing artist. So I'm so happy to be able to do this second episode with her. And we're coming up with new music. We, we I, oh, oh, I'm excited nice. for what we're about to nice. do. Nice. Oh. Great. Amazing. Very, very cool. More? Or is that oh, no, no. Hiya, bro. Yeah, you got to wait. You got to wait. It's going to be <laughs> good vibes. It's going to be good vibes nice. on that episode. So, so it's going to be next that Wednesday. Next next wednesday 10 p.m awesome yeah, singapore time yeah that's fantastic that's it's going to be I on youtube and facebook cool collection i see you got a cool collection of kicks at the back of you i see you got a Me? cool collection oh, yeah, of kicks yeah oh, oh yeah yeah I I got... yeah it's kind of like trying to make it look you know colorful and fun in the room. oh wow in the black room you know, little, little Andy Warhol vibes. There you go. Shout out to all the skaters out there. That's great. Cool. All yeah. right, so I think that, that about wraps it up for us. I think that, you know, what we could do, we could play the video one last time as we close this up. Oh, yeah. I want to say thank you. Thank you to everybody for being involved in this thing. I've said it before, and I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart. The song sounds awesome. You guys all brought something completely fresh to it. Um, and I think it sounds great. And I was blown away by all your performances. Your voices sound great. The vibes you guys brought. I hope that one day we, we can somehow perform this with some of you guys or all of you guys. That would be fantastic. When uh, music when matters, opens up up. Again. make it happen. Yeah. Music matters. Exactly. Music exactly. Matters. Hey. You got it, Jasper. Thank tourism. you so much. And thank you, Singapore. <laughs> YouTube, for it Facebook. Happen. Thank you to YouTube, Facebook, everybody. And don't forget, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, it's going to be live again with Quest and Inch. So, you know, check it out. It's going to be dope. And yeah. how about Thank we go you through all. the video one last time? Thank you all so much. Thanks, guys. It was nice to Thanks, meet you guys. all. Nice to meet you, too. Good night, guys. Nice. Next Wednesday. Hey. My heart is sinking as I'm lifting up above the clouds away from you. Nice and I can't believe I'm leaving. Oh, I don't know, no, no, what I'm gonna do. But someday I will find my way back to where you're. Name is written in the sand Cause I remember every sunset And I remember every word you said But we were never gonna say goodbye Sing la da 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 Tell me how to get back to Back to summer paradise with you 
and I'll be there in a heartbeat. Right away, right away. Oh, and I'll, I'll be there, there in a heartbeat. On my way, on my way. Oh. Oh. My soul is broken. Streets are frozen. I can't stop these feelings melting through. And I'd give away a thousand days, oh, just to have another one with you. Worry life can rain. I'm crashing like waves. Playing in the sand. Oh yeah, I just can't wait to see your beautiful face I miss you day, I will find my way, way, way back to where you are Name is written in the sand yeah. Cause I remember every sunset And I remember every word you said We were never gonna say goodbye We're singing la la da 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 Tell me how to get back Yeah. All right. All right. Great job. Sounds awesome. All right. Take care, you guys. Care, it was guys. so much fun hanging out with you. All right. Take care, guys. Thank, Thank you, guys. Let's catch up. Thank you. Tune in. Thank you so much. Good in touch. Tune in next week. Awesome. And we'll see you guys next week. Peace from Malaysia. Yeah, we'll see. And when we come and tour, we'll come and hang out with you guys. All right? <laughs> That's great. Peace. Peace. Cheers. This is Quest joining you on Music Matters Live from Home in the Philippines. Hi, this is Inch. Catch me at home in Singapore.